Welcome back. President Fattah Sisi welcomed Burundi's head of state, Evariste Ishimie, at the Etihadiya presidential palace on Wednesday. Presidential spokesman Bassem Radi said the meeting tackled enhancing ties and exchanging views over issues of mutual concern. In a joint press conference following the talks, President Sisi praised bilateral relations and expressed keenness on boosting economic cooperation between the two countries during the coming period. He said the talks resulted in providing Egyptian expertise to Burundi in several vital fields. Meanwhile, the head of state affirmed Egypt's stance to avoid any unilateral decisions over the Ethiopian dam. For his part, Burundi's president praised the strong relations and expressed appreciation for Egypt's efforts in preserving stability in Middle East and Africa and in settling conflicts in the disputed areas in the region. The visit follows a visit by a high-level delegation from the Burundian presidency earlier on Sunday, which arrived to the country via Ethiopia. Prime Minister Mustafa Madbouli returned on Wednesday after leading Egypt's delegation to the 29th round of the joint Egyptian-Jordanian High Committee in Amman. He met with King Abdullah II during the visit in which the monarch expressed support for cooperation that served the interests of both countries. For his part, Madbouli reviewed the committee's decisions through its current round in the fields of electricity, health, transportation and housing. The Premier stressed Egypt's keenness to boost cooperation with Jordan, especially in the field of trade. The Prime Ministers of Egypt and Jordan presided over the main session, which witnessed the signing of seven agreements between the ministries of international cooperation of the two countries. The head of the Suez Canal Authority, Osama Rabia, said that tugs worked to free a giant container ship stuck in the Suez Canal on Wednesday after it veered off course in a sandstorm, creating huge tailbacks. He said the authority was doing all it could to refloat the Taiwan run, but Panama flagged MV Ever Given, a 400 meter long and 59 meter wide vessel, which was lodged at an angle across the waterway. The historic sections of the canal have been reopened in a bid to ease the bottleneck of backed up marine traffic. The Suez Canal Authority said the ship was caught up in a sandstorm, a common occurrence in the Sinai Desert at this time of year, blotting out of out light and limiting the captain's ability to see.